Scorpio, hi. So, uh, what? Uh, my dog. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a reading for the month of November 2020. And um, I'll be doing the reading for you, and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Scorpio. I think he wants out. I can't say that word. Because uh, you'll know. Um, or something. Gonna take him after this, but... He just went back to bed. That's a good sign. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look here. What do we got going on? We got the good, the bad, and the ugly, huh? The overall energy for the reading, the Queen of Wands. This is a person that to you, you look at this person and it's like, you're, 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 you're the most amazing person in the world kind of deal, you know? Or they look at you in that way. Could be that too. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Six of Cups crossed by the King of Swords. There's definitely a connection here, soulmate connection that you're dealing with. Very powerful. It shows up a couple of times in the reading. However, there is, um, there is determination to go for this, to go towards this connection at this time. In your focus here, um, the star, what it is that you want. You got it. You're clear about it. You're going after it. And I feel like it's in regards to this connection. In the recent past, brand new beginning, practical one at that. Uh, your strength here, this freaking connection. It's very powerful. Coming up for you in the immediate future, five of wands, a little bit of conflict, a little bit of disagreement here. Supporting this reading, manifestation. It's like you're asking for all of this to happen and it's finally starting to show to happen. The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Five of Pentacles, this is a uh, fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, possibly. Um, you're hoping that whatever this is, is going to help you grow, it's going to help you heal. The potential outcome, brand new beginning in love. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Queen of Wands. Temperance card, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. You know when you feel really, really drawn to somebody, you find them irresistible. You find them like, oh my God. From that energy, you would want for things to happen fast. You would want to be with that person every day of every week of every month of every year. You know, um, things are not necessarily happening in that way. And that actually makes things feel really, really hard. Um, there is some movement in this direction of this person, but it's slow, slow movement. And because it's not happening to according to how we feel about it, it's kind of disappointing. It's kind of like, oh man, you know, there is a, some sort of patience, patience here required on your part. It's hard, you know, dragging your feet through this when you actually want for things to happen faster. Um, Again, remember, roles can be reversed. This could be this person feeling this way about you. Let me clarify the Six of Cups. The Star, the King of Wands, and the Hangman. Same kind of deal. It's definitely something that the both of you want. There's a lot of stagnation at this time. There's a lot of things not happening in this direction, even though you both seem to want it really, really bad. It's kind of like the forbidden fruit. That how it's, that's how it shows up at this time. It's kind of like what I can't have. Oh my God, I want it more kind of deal. You know, um, there's a lot of thinking about it. There's a lot of not doing much about it. So let's see this King of Swords. Why is it showing up if there's no movement? Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, Page of Cups. Yeah, the determination is there to make it happen. I don't see it put, being put into 
practicality, you know? But I see you wanting to make it happen. I see them wanting to bring this to life somehow. One of you in particular, and I kind of feel like it's you, really, really, really wants for this to happen. The other person, I feel like they're on the same page um, in terms of what they want out of this. Now, I don't see them as determined to make it happen as you. That doesn't mean that they don't want it. Uh, but there's definitely one of you that is like, oh, gotta have this happen. Let's clarify the uh, the star in your focus. The Justice card of the world and the Ten of Swords. What do we got here, Scorpio? <sighs> Things took a freaking flip. It's... It's one of those cliches, if you love somebody enough, let them go. Kind of crap, you know, um, they'll come back or which has truth to it. It's yeah, but it, it's kind of becoming it's it's like this reading is starting off in a very forceful kind of energy towards this to make it happen. And then it's like, but I got to. I got to release it so that I can actually see if it's mine, which kind of makes sense. It's just crossing from one energy to another very drastically like i just gotta release them i gotta see if they're truly mine you know kind of thing and for that i would have to actually let them go kind of thing it's a very interesting concept here uh and a very drastic switch in energies uh let me clarify the lovers i kind of understand the stagnation in this at this time Six of Wands, Four of Cups, King of Cups. This relationship, this connection truly makes you happy. Deep, deep down, it makes you happy. On the surface, there's something about it that really disappoints you. Really kind of puts you in that place of, hmm, this sucks, you know? Um, there's something in this that really, really disappoints you. Let me clarify the Five of Wands in the immediate future. Nine of Swords, Two of Wands, the Empress. Ooh, this is your person here. Something happened, some sort of disagreement. Something happened with the two of you, a fight, a misunderstanding, something. And this person is kind of waiting for things to smooth over, to, to be better in this situation. They're kind of still hanging on to whatever this fight is about. Or, you know, they're kind of waiting for this to go away here. Okay, let me clarify the Magician. Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Scorpio, I kind of see you working on your independence here. Now, that doesn't mean you have to let this person go. You're surely considering it as part of this work on yourself. You know, you're, you may be putting all options in front of you like okay this might be there might be a possibility for this to not work out and then i'll be on my own can i handle it do i have the the means to handle that and and all of these things that you're actually kind of placing in front of you and dealing with in terms of fears in terms of oh but this makes me happy too everything contributes to you growing in your full power here in your own independence your own stability I feel like right now, physically, I don't see something happening between the two of you. Energetically, a lot of things are happening, which are helping you a lot to work on yourself, period. <laughs> to work on yourself, to work on your independence, you know. Um, interesting, because I see a lot of energies at play that actually come towards helping you which is really cool let me see this five of pentacles this is definitely fear of this not working out the wheel of fortune the king of pentacles the ace of cups things are changing things are twisting it seems like this person is actually coming towards you with an open heart from this energy of 
abandonment, they're switching it to, but I love you kind of deal. Whew. I feel like you're dealing with your own energies about this, your own fears about this. And then this person contributes with their actions towards this connection, which one minute they're upset, they're mad, they wait that something happened between the two of you that upset them. And then they're like, but I love you. So let's get back together kind of thing. So not only are you going through your own thing, then this person comes in to add to that, uh, which is good. It's, you know, it's how it's supposed to be for some reason. Let me clarify the Four of Swords. The Fool, the Seven of Wands, the Hierophant. All right, so there's a lot of healing and a lot of thinking, deeply thinking about whether or not you should give this a chance, whether or not you should take this situation to the next level, especially when this person shows up with an open heart. Uh, there's a little bit of rejection around it. There's a little bit of fear around it. I'm not going to lie. I see it here. In between the Fool and the Hierophant, there's that Seven of Wands that tells me that there's a little bit of a blockage, a little bit of a wall that you're putting up. But again, I see you healing that. I see you working through all of the... And these are a lot of energies to work with at one time. And then given that this person is adding to your plate there, that's a lot to deal with, you know? Let me clarify the Ace of Cups for the potential outcome. Wow. Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Interesting, because this person shows up with the Ace of Cups in the, in the potential outcome. You're saying no. To that ace of cups you're saying you're not even saying let me think about it you're just turning your back to it running in the opposite direction so that's really up to you what you're going to do with it i feel like this person when they come in opening up you may be going through a lot of healing you may be finding yourself at a different energetic level where things might change you may not want the things that you want now so yeah, whoa, you scared the shit out of me. Yeah, you, get your ass out of the camera. Uh, so yeah, that, that may be a possibility here where right now you're thinking, no way in hell I'm gonna say no to this person. You don't know, wait for it. Uh, let's see what the universe has. Thanks for visiting. That's it, uh, that was fast. He found this shelf and it's like his favorite thing to sit on. It's right here by my side, but it's not in the camera anymore. And people are like, where's Felix? He's here. <laughs> you just can't see him anymore. Um, the Chariot, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Yeah, the, these are all energies that you're dealing with at this current time. I see fast energy coming your way and you're taking it, transforming it and reacting to it from a different kind of place, like not responding to it right away. You know, you're shifting energies a lot. Whatever it is that's coming your way, you're working with it in a very calm and calculated manner. And not even calculated like, I have to do this and that. And, but just smoothly transitioning through all of the energies that are coming your way, which is a lot. And again, it's all helping you to find your independence. Which is actually great. Let me close it off with the Sacred Traveler Oracle card for you. Far away places. Get ready for new horizons. And I don't see this as being literal. I see this as being a new life for you. A new perspective. You know? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.